After Tanya had a motor vehicle accident with a neck injury, she's been in this halo. She is in her third trimester of pregnancy and um, had a lot of hopes of having a natural, uncomplicated vaginal delivery. I feel some movement over here, Tanya. It's been a roller coaster because with the halo and then, well, is that coming off and are we going to be able to, to deliver naturally and or is it going to have to go C-section? Well, we've got some breathing movement. That's also a sign of well-being. Looking at you know the literature, both in obstetric and neurosurgery literature, there really um, have not been described cases of women in halos giving birth. So it's uh, definitely novel, and we can't really draw on a lot of other people's experience because it's just not out there. I'm excited. Yeah. Birthday today, huh? Yeah. Today could be a birthday. I guess I'm just speechless. She's finally here. I guess <laughs> sometimes there just are no words for it, but she's here and uh, she's, she's a little miracle girl. And, and yes, we're going to have an amazing story to tell this little person. Everybody was really so nice and we've, this is our second one and we've gone through this before. I mean, our OBGYN was, was just great and all the nurses were just uh, very sweet and very nice. I was so impressed with the level of, of caring and care and knowledge. I think Scripps is the best. I received such excellent care here. Yeah, I just say here by the grace of God, we are. So, and we're grateful.